like to start the meeting. Um, happy New Year, everyone. Wish everyone a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2023. Thank you for uh, joining us during our weekly hybrid MLS breakfast meeting. And thank you for coming in with the heavy rain. I know it's uh, Shun uh, Zhang, and I'm with VMAX, my home, and I'm your January program chair. I'm going to have Bob Chu to uh, do the Pledge of Legion. Please stand. Of the United States of America, and to the Republic, and one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Bob. Now we'd like to have Jacqueline to the husband and wife team to do the um, inspirational quote. Good morning, Happy New Year. I hope that in this year to come, you make mistakes. Because if you are making mistakes, then you are making new things, trying new things, learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world. You're doing things you've never done before. And most importantly, you're doing something by Neil Gaiman. Thank you, Jacqueline. So a little bit about me. Again, my name is Shun. Um, I've been uh, a realtor over 15 years. Um, prior to being a realtor, I was in um, working in the corporate world um, in the hotel industry over 10 years. Um, grew up in Boston. Um, this is my 20 years um, moved uh, to California so far, and I enjoying. Um, been with the WSGVR since 2009. Um, before joining the WSGVR, I was um, having a hard time trying to figure out which board I should join because um, I was new at that time. And I finally decided to join the WSGVR, and I'm so glad I did because uh, it's one of the best uh, board association uh, in the area. Um, and this year, I'm your um, MLS chair. So please come in um, in person uh, as much as you can. We will have... Uh, lots of surprises from time to time. Um, and just like today, um, my vice chair doing the fried dough right now, <laughs> uh, we decided last minute that we decided to have uh, kanji porridge instead of the uh, donut thinking it's it's kind of a uh, old day, uh, cold day. So enjoy the kanji, you guys, everyone. Um, and I'm very honored to be your vice president of the association this year. Um, hopefully, um, you, you again, join us more often in person, and that's our goal um, this year. Uh, just a few housekeeping tips. All participants will be muted upon entry to the MLS breakfast meeting. And should you have any questions, uh, please put them on the uh, chat box. Please remember to join us weekly as we will have our hybrid MLS breakfast meeting uh, every Thursday at nine o'clock. As always, this meeting is being recorded. Um, on our YouTube channel, West Singapore uh, Valley Realtors. Um, make sure to register in advance for the, uh, this meeting and indicate you are attending either in person or in Zoom. And then after you register, um, you will receive a confirmation email containing information about joining the meeting. Please remember to follow WSGVR social media on Facebook. Twitter and Instagram. You can also watch our pre-recorded videos on YouTube. Join our text message group for updates text WSGVR to the number 888-301-2201. Um, this is very important because you will get all the updates uh, from the association. Today's agenda consists of our Philly Spotlight, Lena Sankari. U.S. Bank, followed by our guest speaker, Albert Tran, CEO. Just a reminder that to be eligible for today's drawing, you must be in WSGVR member and be present in person at the association. We'll be having an attendance drawing, Amazon gift cards drawing and 50-50 raffles. If you are interested to buy the 50-50 tickets, please either raise your hand, Ni is going around um, to sell those tickets, Bless you. And the price is a dollar for one ticket, two dollar for four tickets, and five dollar for ten tickets. Okay. 
So um, Nia is going around to sell those tickets. Just raise your hand, okay? Today, our affiliate spotlight will be brought to you by the affiliate committee, Chair uh, Lina Sanger and Vice Chair Teresa Nguyen. Please remember to support our affiliates with your transactions. Take it away, Lina. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in today. I know it's heavy rain. I was about to turn the car back, but <laughs> I have the mission that I have to come into. it. Um, Happy New Year, and I hope you all had an amazing celebration with family and friends, and which I did. We went to Vegas, and we had a blast. Uh, my name is Lena Sankari. I'm with U.S. Bank. I'm very honored to be elected as a um, affiliate chair this year with my co-chair, Teresa Nguyen. Um, I worked for U.S. Bank for over three years, but I've been with the mortgage industry for over 10 years. Um, I could speak Mandarin, English, and Thai. And like everyone knows, you know, US Bank, they all thought it's a bank, but we focus on the mortgage. So our rate as to compare to other banks or broker, we are very competitive. For example, today our rate for 30 year fix is at 5.75. And for seven year fix, we're at 5.375. And we focus on a lot of residential mortgages. If you want to know more about, you know, we can, I'm going to be around and we have the affiliate chair meet, um, we have the affiliate meeting. So come talk to me after the meeting is over. I'm here, you know, for in person talking, text, email, or a phone call. I'm a mother of the two children, the human children, and I have an eight and a half year old tortoise. And he's right there. We love him dearly. And sometimes, you know, we have, we can consider a bear as our stray, uh, our stray son. So he would come once in a while, I would say at least once a month to come and look for food. And we try to not give him food because otherwise he'll come even more often. Right? Yes. And um, so I, we love to do a lot of activities with our kids. You know, like what we said, right? Um, we are so um, focused on work and sometimes we forgot about family. But what Mark Anthony said, if you choose what you love to do, you will ne never have to work for a day in life. So that's why I'm so passionate about doing the mortgage. And I know a lot of you guys are the same, right? We do what we love to do, but we still have to focus on the family and people that we love. So I try to take them to the baseball games. You see, I, when I scroll down my pictures, they're all like sports, games, um, concerts, and mainly are food. So I love to bake, I love to cook, and my free time, I also love to do gardening. Not really love, I enjoy it, but <laughs> you know, it's a lot of work because when we do it, we not, we don't go to Home Depot and buy small plants, right? We plant from the seed. And then, so we recycle. So once it's grown, there are seeds, we redo the seeds and keep it for the next season and we plant it again. So that's the beauty of having, you know, planting and you get to enjoy the gardening more because you don't have to spend more money on buying the plants. It's like recycling and enjoy the crops that you do and it's organic. Um, what else? That's all my cooking. So if you like to come, yeah. <laughs> so everyone said, why am I staying so skinny? I cook them. Probably I left a portion, only a small portion, and they all out to friends. Yeah. And talk back to the tortoise. So I, I, I really am I'm proud of the tortoise. So I got from, I don't know if you guys know Mark Wu. So he gave me a tortoise of five months old. A size of the palm, he's now eight and a half. So we, we do take him for a walk. Can you believe that, that you can walk a tortoise? So we take him for a walk. So 30 minutes every time that we can do, he's very good at it. He will follow you and then he'll come back. But there's some naughty days of his that he will not come back. So from 30 minutes became one hour. So if you guys want, to do the weightlifting without going to the gym. I have the, the sheet that you guys can sign up. We can go take my tortoise for a walk and then you guys can live him up back home with us. 
So um, that's all about me. So if you are interested in learning more about what I do in the mortgage industry, um, the lending, the home loan programs that we have to offer, feel free to reach out to me. That's my contact info. Um, check out my Zillow page. So you have, you know, you can read about the reviews that I've had. I do the best I can. And I'm very responsive. If you have any questions, let me know off the stage or, you know, after the meeting. Thank, Thank you, you, Lena. Thank you. So to let you know, um, if you want to enjoy those, one of those food that uh, Lena makes, make sure you come in more often because it might be surprises. Um, those are all homemade. So just come on in every Thursday, join us, okay? So now we'd like to have our affiliate introduction for today. All affiliates present today, please line up in the front and please no promotion. This is a morning greeting only. Thank you. And we'll start the um, affiliate online once everyone's up here. Hey, uh, Judy Chu, uh, AAA Capital Investment, you're up. Uh, good morning. This is Judy, Senior Loan Officer from AA Capital. I speak uh, Chinese and English. And uh, Happy New Year to the West San Gabriel Realtor family. Have a great year. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. Next, John Wax. Good morning, everyone. John Wax with SNAP NHD, Natural Hazard Disclosures. Hope you had a great New Year's. Wishing you a wonderful January. My information's in the chat. Have a wonderful caravan. Thank you, Jun. Thank you, John. Uh, Mark Wu. Yes, good morning, everybody, and Happy New Year. Wishing you all the best for 2023. I do property insurance, and I'm here to service your insurance needs. Thank you, Mark. Um, that's all we have in Zoom. Did I miss anyone in Zoom? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Sean. Hi, who's this? Angie. Oh, Angie. I'm so sorry. Go ahead, Angie. Thank you, guys. Happy New Year, everybody. Angie Tang, First American Title. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, Angie. Sorry, I can't really see the screen with everyone's faces. So if I miss anyone, just uh, yell out. Anyone else? Hi, I'm here, Hi. Juliana from Union Station. I was going to make it in person, and I couldn't make it. So just saying good morning. Happy New Year. Thank you, Juliana. Anyone else? Good morning, Hi, everybody. Annie, Chicago Title. Okay, just, just introduce yourself, Annie, please. Okay. Hi, this is Annie Fan, Chicago Title. Happy New Year. And then, um, you know, make it a great day. Thank you. Thank you, Annie. Oh, here we go. We see the Zoom now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Joseph? Yeah. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Joseph with Pillar to Post Home Inspectors. Um, it's Weather's getting crazy, so everybody stay safe out there and have a fantastic day. Okay, uh, I can't really see that part. Is that Lucia or anyone else uh, affiliate? If not, okay. Now we're gonna start um, all the ones here. Ariana Chen, please. Happy New Year, everybody. Have a great caravan. Ariana Chen with Prime Lending. Good morning, this is Alex, your Feng Shui Master. Happy New Year. Good morning, everyone. I'm Phoebe from Issa Span. I wish you a very happy and successful year, 2023. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Hello again, Jacqueline Chu. Bob Chu, we would champion escrow. Have a happy, healthy, and prosperous 2023. Happy New Year. This is Kara with West Fargo, Home Loan Mortgage. Happy New Year. Thank you, everyone. Okay, um, that's all we have in person. Hi. Okay. Uh, sorry, I couldn't un <clears throat> unmute myself. This is Lucia Tam representing CARPA, Chinese American Real Estate Professional Association. Have a great week and stay dry. Thank you. Thank you, Lucia. Okay, that's all we have, right? I didn't miss anyone. Okay, so we're happy to include open pitching to our hybrid MLS breakfast meeting. Uh, remember, if you would like to pitch your listing, you must go to the www.wsgvar.com uh, and then click on open pitch, fill out the caravan request form and submit it no later than Tuesday midnight 
of the week. Um, if you want to pitch that week. Today, we have two listings featured from one, Helen Lin from VMAX Dynasty. Helen, go ahead. Hi, hello. So, so my, my name is actually Hao Ming and um, I'm representing Helen today. Um, she is my sister and uh, we do both work for Remax Dynasty and Whittier. Um, I just want to, do I start pitching now by any chance? Yes, please. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, so thank you so much, what, uh, you know, West San Gabriel, you know, uh, so she's to have me today. And um, yeah, happy New Year's everybody. And I just wanted to present this listing to you guys. It's a new construction in Monrovia. And it's on the border of Arcadia and Monrovia. It's um, a little bit off Fourth Street, Fifth Street around there. Um, so this is one out of twelve units that's um, in a, like that was newly built. And um, this is a twelve unit PUD SFR. So you know you do own the ground underneath, and um, you do not share exterior walls, but there is a little gap between each unit. So there's around four buildings in this whole development. Um, so the listing I'm pitching today is a two bedroom. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a two bed. It's the two bedroom model, right? Can we go back up top? Uh, I think we have 717. Oh, so, okay. So today we're, I'm pitching 717 West Doherty number B. So this is actually a three bedroom model. So in this whole development, we do have two, two bedrooms, eight, three bedrooms and two, four bedrooms. So the, the listing we are, I'm actually presenting actually has a rooftop. So Monrovia did allow the developers to create a rooftop in this development. And it does overlook, you know, the San Gabriel Mountains to the north. So that's pretty exciting. And um, the two bedroom units have their own backyards instead of their own rooftops, since they are towards the end of the development. And towards the north of the development, it's all single families. So yeah. They require the heights a little bit lower. So, you know, you don't overlook the R1 zoning up to the north. Um, pretty much, you know, the, the rooftops are available to see. There's around, there's three Supras here for every single model. And um, yeah, just thank you for having me. And this development is one of a kind. And um, our team at Remax Dynasty and Whittier, we're, you know, we're the ones, you know, listing this listening is awesome product and um we can't wait for you guys to you know just to come check out the beautiful mountains of you know san gabriel valley you know it's um uh, it's a view that shouldn't be wasted you know and thank, um, you. thank you and happy new year's everybody i just want to get this out there it's a new construction everything's spotless and clean and ready you know ready to show thank, thank you. you and congratulations on your two new listings thank you okay, next uh we have norita gonzalez from uh, Jason Michelle Real Estate. Hi, good morning, everyone. My name is Sonita Gonzalez, and this is the first time I do a pitch, so it's really exciting. So this is my listing in San Dimas. I'm having open house this weekend, uh, actually Friday, three to five, uh, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to one. Come on out and check out. Uh, it's a beautiful um, 1911 home, uh, elementary school, walking distance, walking distance to downtown San Dimas. They're building it up great. There's going to be a metro back there. And um, just you can watch moms take their kids to school in the morning, well-established neighborhood. Great opportunity for even passive event. Um, for a passive income, if you want to put, try to see if you can put a ADU in the back. My neighbor, not my neighbor, but the neighbor next door to my listing, he actually has an ADU and a granny flat back there. It has alley access, solar. It's an absolutely great location. So come and check me out Friday, three to five, Saturday and Sunday, 10 to one. I hope to see you guys there. Bring your buyers. You don't even have to come. Just let me know. All right. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thanks Thank so you. Much. And congratulations on your new listing. Great pitching, first time. <laughs> okay, now we're going to have our CEO, Albert Tran, to give us the state of art. Um, I'm sure you know uh, who David Tran is. Uh, so I'm just gonna briefly read his bio. So Albert been working for the uh, WSGVR as Chief Executive Officer since July, 2010. In his role, he works closely with staff to implement the WSGVR Board of Directors Board of Directors vision. Prior to joining the WSGVR, Albert worked as a director of training and technology services um, for the California Association of Realtors, CAR, 
from 1999 to 2010. During that time, he worked together with the local association to promote the ZipForm software and education courses throughout the state of California. Now, please help me to welcome Albert Tran, our CEO. Good morning. Happy New Year. So I'm so honored today to be the presenter to talk about the state of the association. And hopefully you learn much about our association here. I've been doing this for a few years now, but mostly the last two years I did it online and on Zoom. So I'm so uh, honored to be here to live in the front of everybody. Unfortunately, today is a raining day, so there's not that many people show up. But actually, raining is a good function, right? We have Alex Lee here. Maybe you can tell us. Beginning of the year, raining brings more water. Water has more money. So I think that's a good thing. I am talking about uh, the association uh, mostly. So I'm going to talk about the, uh, our mission. We have recently changed our mission to... The sa to safeguard private property rights by promoting and adherence to the router code ethics and professional competency of our members. So that's our remission. And also our vision is provide tools and services to help you as a member to be more productive in your real estate profession as well. So those are the two, uh, we kind of make a, it used to be pretty long statements. We can combine and make it a small one so easy to remember about a mission statement and a vision. I just want to let you know what is our organization charge. Starting with who owned this association? Let me ask a question. Yes, member owned this association. So you're on the top. You can see it from the orange. Organization in charge. You the one who select the board of directors. That's why you put all those 13 directors in the board. So they can, what they do is they set policy and procedures for staff to implement, for the committees to implement as well. So that's why you see that on the top, right underneath the uh, membership is the board director. From the board director, I'm the one who report to the board director as a CEO. And then I'm kind of oversee the staff. And from the board director, you see that we have the committees. When we set up the charter back in 1922, we have to let the National Association know what committees are there. And the, the bylaws that we submit to the National Association Realtor have to approve by them. What are the standing committees in the association? Standing committees consist of education. That's why you have the education classes and we have uh, finance and oversee your finance. And later on, we'll talk about our financial information. A grievance, as well as professional standard, those are the ones that uh, if we have a dispute between members and clients or members, members, stuff like that, and we go through those committees. Let's just slide it handle the advocacy, membership, special events. We kind of uh, handle the, a lot of special events for our members here. So we have to have a particular committee to handle that. MLS technology, MLS is this committee here, handle the MLS breakfast meeting. Then uh, strategic planning. Every year we have to go somewhere or maybe at the association, imagine what kind of activities, objectives that we need to do for the association to make the association grow three or five years from now. So we sit down, we talk about what need, we need to be done for our, our members. So that's a strategic planning committee. Those are the standing committee must have at all the real estate association. So if you go to another association nearby or whatever, they have the same thing. They must have those five, uh, eight committees. On the right, uh, on your right, Special committees, which is a board director can assign any committees that they want to, to fit their structure. So the first, we have the affiliates. So that's why you have uh, the affiliate meetings today. 
we do have bylaws and policy and procedures which design or craft some of those uh, bylaws to submit it to National Association Realtor uh, to, for approval or some of the PNP policy and procedures submitted to the board director for approval as well. Those PNP uh, policy and procedures are working documents. It changes frequently. And any changes to those have to be submitted to the board director for approval. Global Business Council, that's why you see we have many activity for the international later. We'll talk about that too. Um, so we have that particular committee as well. And orientation, that's for the new members. Premise, we're just uh, handling this office, the office next door and the, the um, another property that we own. We'll talk about that as well. Such as an arm, you will not see David Tran today. Normally he's the one who kind of handle green people come in. Uh, young professional network, which is the, um, the that doesn't have to be the young uh, generation running. We have people all across the board. Um, senior, young, and so on, kind of um, have this committee to do a lot of activities and talk to you about those. Last year, you select some of the new directors, and these are the 2023 board directors you have, starting with Ling Charles, president, Siruda, president elect, uh, Ms. Chang here, Shan Chang, South Vice President, also is MLS committee chair, Nanette Ong. Uh, treasurer, she's also the vice chair of the uh, MLS committee. Jeff Kwan, he's not here today. Secretary Brian Chen become internet uh, intermediate past president now. Uh, yeah, uh, Yimber, which is you select her back in as a director. Marianne, she's going to be her second year as a director. Same as Lauren Clark, second year as a director again. Lauren was our past president as well. Pauline Lam. Director, Tom Zhang, director, William Wei, new uh, comer, new director, and then Thomas Wong, also our um, past director as well. He is still continue for one more year. The, this are staff. I'm myself on the left, and Angelica Mraz right there, director of operations. I'm so happy to bring her in back in uh, 2018. She's uh, used to work for our US Bank, right? Yes, Bank, and, and yeah, and she's run an incredible job. Karen Snow is our accountant, Fong, do education and store managing. Berlin Barrios, uh, she's a communication events uh, manager. She used to run this MLS meeting as well. Uh, Chrissy uh, Benitez, she's our member support coordinator, and then Tracy Chung is our uh, web, and so, so all of us are member support as well, including myself helping our members. And also we have the uh, independent consultants. Uh, Jim Klinker is our association attorney, been with us for maybe 10 or 20 years already. Gene Clark is uh, our government affairs director who handled the advocacy legislative and so on. All right, membership grow very quickly. You can see from 2007, we have 1,241 members. And I joined the association at 2010. We were under 2,000 members, but at the end of the year, I joined July 2010. At the end of that year, we started to get 2016 uh, members. So we got the one national association router director. And ever since from uh, the data I joined, we, we, our memberships increased ever since. But you look at the California Association Router members in the middle, their pick was 2000 and, uh, 208,000 at 2007. Keep drop, 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 drop until now we're back up to almost a little bit more than 2007 and 2022. So that's the number 223,000 members now. Look at DIE, even worse. DIE is um, all the, the um, a real estate agent have to get the license within four years. Within four years. So on the 27, we have about 550,000 richer agent and keep drop according to that, similar to what CAR, the membership there, keep drop until today, um, November, I think it's uh, yeah, November 2022, I, I searching it on the line. They have about 437,000 uh, realtor agent. 
So it's about half of agents become realtor. You can look at number of DRE and to the middle, 223, a little bit more than 50% of members are realtor member. Uh, program services. We talk about members benefit program, education, special events, advocacy, global achievement awards, as well as uh, YPN activities. So I'm going to talk about some of those member benefits. It is incredible service. I've been talking to many, many associations, and they said this is a, a, a great way to help out our members. The, um, so please take advantage. You're going to get a free Wi-Fi. We have computers for you to use. We have a two state-of-the-art computers for you to use. You don't have to bring your laptop there if you want to use and access it. Um, we open up from 9 to 5 on Thursday, of course, from 8 to 5, too. Whatever the office open, we, we will open up for you. But if anyone would want to use after hours, we have to talk about it. There's some nominal fee for that. You can also lease the, um, the mailbox as well. We have a handful of people lease the mailbox. We have 105 mailbox in there for you to lease. The, the mail will be delivered to the suite and it's staff, you sort of now put in the mailbox for you so you can pick it up. All right, uh, education. We have many, many education classes that we offer in our destination, uh, EPRO, CIPS, um, license class. We have 45 hours with new, new members and, and um, new brokers license. Uh, notary public MLO, MLOs for the loan of, uh, officer, originator. They can take advantage of this too. We will resume some of those courses again. Uh, since COVID, we kind of, I close it down because nobody come in here. We want to resume some of those. Poverty, poverty management summit, commercial, legal, tax, and global uh, broker symposium. We're going to have one coming up soon in summer. Uh, technology, we have ongoing monthly MLS, M MLS, um, zip form and MLS classes. Bridge of safety, we have to do that every single year in September. And you can uh, attend the classes here live. Um, we do have Monday commercial seminar. Uh, we also recipient of those uh, commercial service accreditation from NAR back in 2019. Some of the general classes like legal updates, economic updates, notary public, probate, RPA, social media, social uh, security, tax, and retirement. And so, sorry, we have a lot of education class. We have some members mentioned it to us before that. This association has the best education classes ever in the region. So I totally agree with that. We always, every month, we sit down, we look at whatever the needs of our members, what classes we want for them. And we also encourage affiliates to provide classes at the association as well. So um, that's the thing that we did. Uh, we have a lot of special events for you. Spe Chinese New Year's coming up in two weeks. Uh, global Festival, and then uh, Cinco de Mayo, normally in May. And this year, I heard from the, the, the uh, foundations, we're going to have a golf tournament as well. So it's going to be another uh, nice event. Uh, July for celebration, member appreciation day, uh, affiliate appreciation luncheon. We normally have that. We kind of combine them into like a committee uh, luncheon now, our, our committee luncheon. Um, Halloween parties, we, we just have one in October. It's kind of a very, very um, nice one. We have people contest win the prizes, stuff like that, on a luncheon for the, the past president. Um, Veterans Day celebration, we did it one year. Maybe we'll look into that again. It depends on the special events committee if they want to choose to do so. And we have holiday uh, celebration as well. What happened in 2022, we celebrate the centennial celebration a lot throughout the 2022. We have about three event, big events, and some of you participate in June as well as the, um, uh, I believe, September. So that was a very, very fun event, celebrate our 100 years and many other events we just mentioned up earlier. All right, member benefit uh, from the California Association Realtor. They have a zip form, they have CR legal hotline. Do you know that um, if you don't sign up for a membership here, if you want to buy Zip One product, how much does it cost you then? Just, as, just say if you don't want to become a realtor member. 
and you just want only use zip form because they don't sell paper form much anymore. 999. It's just that alone. Sorry, pay for everything. Yeah, a CAR legal hotline, just one phone cost will save you everything. A 45 hour C credits, don't forget to take advantage of that for those of you who up in renewal. I myself too, I, in March, I have to renew my broker license. So I, I'm taking advantage of that too. Uh, and then CAR has also education webinar for free as well. Those are the free ones that we mentioned it to you, but of course they have some other uh, cost too. And it has a, a beautiful, wonderful member benefit program, which I'm going to be pushing a lot um, to, for those realtors who really want to make a website. Many of you might not have a website. Take advantage of the .realtor. It's, it's a free service from the NAR. And um, you can sign up with them uh, and they give you a domain name and so on. Unless you want to move into pre uh, premium, which is only $20 a month which our association is going to take advantage of too. In a few months, you will see the association will using the dot router so that um, we take their beautiful design with a very, very low cost. You know how much it costs if you build an association website from 5,000 to 25,000, depends on which vendor that you're talking about. So this one give us a very good um, thing. Um, so, we will take advantage. Advocacy, I'm going to go through very fast here. Um, election, November 8th election. For those of you who had went out and uh, vote for some of the candidates in our five cities, uh, actually three cities, only in San Gabriel, Alhambra, and Monte Park. That's the one that uh, running this cycle, November 8th. Rosemead and Temple Street City did not have the election. So um, out of those candidates, kind of small, but you can look at the, um, the newsletter we sent it out to our members, uh, the one that you have it on one of those pages there. I forgot what page, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, um, we support all the candidates they want, so which is good. One of the candidates, our members, you, you probably know is John Wu, who's living in San Gabriel and also run uh, was appointed as the um, uh, council member for San Gabriel in uh, February of last year. And he ran very, very, very um, competitive run, but he was in the top of the uh, tier of the, um, the top, uh, top uh, winner of that election. He got about 20, 21.6% or so. So it's pretty good. Um, and we also season really support him. So. The, um, because of that, we association have many, many of your members in your dues. You contribute like $49 or $20 or whatever. Um, but I'm here recognize some of the people who contribute more than $20 or more than $49. Start with the true cost of doing business. We have uh, many of those people. Again, is in the newsletter. You can read them. Um, so hopefully many of you who will be in the future contribute more to the uh, Realtor Action Fund. What this Realtor Action Fund does is the money going in, we distribute to National Association Realtor, California Association Realtor, and our association. Those money bring into us, we support the local candidates to run for the election. And at the Real Estate Association, we support those candidates who support housing. That's the whole idea. That's how we do. We don't, we don't lean on any parties, anything like that, but we, whoever support housing, we want to. We want to grow more housing, affordable housing and so on. So, so please, if you are um, ever think about contribute to the IAF, do so. Uh, affiliate also welcome. Affiliate, we do have another um, forms for you to fill out too, at a minimum of twenty dollars, something like that. But we will implement that as well. Because of that, uh, for your comp contribution, do, do the dues billing. We are running a um, a swift stake, and this swift stake will we give out five Visa card. Each of them are twenty dollars on 
the deadline to contribute to IF for this particular whip stick is the end of February 28, 2023. So the end of February, you have to submit all the um, your contribution. And during that month, March, we collect all the information, we assemble it, and we will run the drawing on the first week of April, which is, I believe is April 6th. So we would do that drawing here at the association and we would put out five winners, 50, uh, $20, sorry, $20 each Visa card. Association and YPN has do a wonderful job of uh, do community outreach. One of the, one of which we do the, um, our legislative committee did a great job of doing the city chamber mixer every year. We kind of set it up every year now, probably sometime in March or depends on what day that they would choose to do so at the association. We invite all the five chambers participate with us. We, we fund for the whole thing and the money um, kind of, you know, we, we want the members to come in and network with the other cities. Uh, we also invite city elected officials here so you can talk to your, your city elected official. And YFM did, did uh, the Young Professional Network Group would do a food donation volunteers at the Union Station in uh, Pasadena. They host food drives for nonprofit. They host toy drives for needies and and so on. And I my hands are up to the uh, um, the our foundations who conduct annual auctions, collect those money, contributed to um, scholarship and charity. I know some of us contribute money to it. Um, last year long, last year long, I did contribute five, $500 to the foundation myself. So my own money, by the way. So um, I, I encourage everybody to do so as well. All right, uh, global achievement. I'm running out, almost running out of time. It's gonna be very quick here. Um, we did win the um, uh, platinum award in, for 2019 and 2023. We'll renew it this year again. Um, so just want to give you a heads up. We do a lot of activities in global. That's why the National Association Realtor give us the award. And it took us about, um, you can see almost 12 years to get it, the, um, the, the Platinum Award, um, which is a very prestigious award uh, through the National Association Realtor. These are the partnership that we have with the, um, uh, throughout the world. Uh, some of them from China, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia, Japan, Mexico, uh, Mongolia, Vietnam, and uh, uh, Korea, Canada, and Cambodia. So we look into many, many other places that we cited MOU with. What this means is we have a partnership with them. So we do some exchange uh, information. Uh, so we learn something about that country's real estate. They also learn something about our country here. So if we have investor want to go to that country, they be able to connect it with them. I would like to uh, congratulate some of the awards winner. Uh, Realtor of the years. This year is our wins. Yeah. And the field of the year, we don't see Sage here. She won the, the award, a uh, distinguished service award. Uh, went to um, Lorraine Clark. And it's, this is also on the newsletter as well. Um, David Tran, he never missed a meeting, but today he missed it. But he's a uh, special recognition. <laughs> yeah, he's under the weather. Okay, so he's uh, under the rain. <laughs> okay, Lifetime Achievement Award went to other shoe. He's been here for a long, long time. He's a member, he's 30, 40 years or so. And we all have. All of three president was here. Started with our uh, uh, Chan and then Nanette and Pauline. Yeah, so happy for them. And we don't have the, um, I, I, I didn't get a award, by the way, the good neighbor was went to uh, James Chan and his wife, Lili Hua, on that picture. That's the only picture I can find. So I have to put there. I didn't want to take the, <laughs> the spotlight there at all, but that's the only picture we found. So uh, congratulations to you all. Uh, what's happened in 2023 and beyond? The association will, we op we've been open since April 22. We anticipate to remain open with the live events and education class. I don't see any close down at all, even though I think the search from China and, and other country, I hope that we have enough vaccine here to prevent those happen. 
from happening. Um, the the hub, please take advantage of that. That's your you got to be live uh, member benefit there. It's going to be tell other people to use it. We have countless education classes, special events. We're talking about consumer outreach. We will planning for. We just recently last year received a, a national sustain NAR uh, sustainable grant. We're going to work with uh, local schools and uh, educated um, the um, the children about some of the sustainability. And then uh, we might do some home fair um, this year too, uh, hitting some of the city like Rosemead, Monte Park, or many other city we want to. Or I'm thinking maybe bigger, we might work with the, the government, like a local um, city. I, I don't know that's that work out or not. We have to negotiate with the city. Uh, stay tuned for some of the global transmission summit. They, they will uh, let us know many one of those. So I think uh, I'm running out of time. So I just want to be do a QA, and a uh, question and answer. If a zero.com become a, a broker, are they required to join the board too? Yes, the, the answer is if zero, any, any broker, even online or uh, uh, offline, wants to uh, have agents joining them, they have to join the association uh, as a broker first and their agents can join them as well. So that's the procedure, yeah. Any other question from the floor? If not, thank you very much. Thank you, Albert Tran, our CEO, for the very informative presentation. Now you know why I joined uh, WSGVR um, 15 years ago. Um, we are one of the best uh, association, has a lot of support, and financially, we are very strong. So if you know anybody who wants to switch, come to WSGVR. Okay. So before we do our WSGVR drawing, I would like to announce that since the 2022 attendance drawing winner was not selected last year, uh, December 2022, the drawing will be taking place on January 26, which is um, the celebration of the Lunar New Year, uh, two, two weeks later. So make sure you come in uh, or in Zoom because you are qualified if you win a uh, winner in Zoom as well for this time, for the 2022. Um, so today we will have the 2023 attendance drawing. So all WSGVR members are included in the attendance drawing. Um, not all can be displayed, but all will be included. Part is at uh, $25 today. If we don't have uh, get a winner, uh, $25 will be added to the pot next week um, until um, next week. And then uh, at the end of the year, if we don't have a winner, we'll uh, select it till we find a winner this time. So um, for our last, that will be our last breakfast meeting in December. Um, so, but winner must be present in person um, at the association to win. So when your name is called, you must announce that you are present. Uh, we call three times um, and make sure you respond. So let's start. Can you help me, Nanette? The, oh, actually the uh, attendance uh, joint. Okay. Make sure everyone yeah. put your business card there. Emily Chu, are you in Zoom? Or Emily Cho? Emily Cho, second. Emily Cho, third time. All right, we put the $25 back to the pot. So next week will be $50. Okay, now we're gonna have Amazon uh, gift card. So we'll select three winners here. Okay, so, oh, wow, Linda, congratulations. Okay, Linda from Realty Master. The second one, Pauline Lam. Oh my goodness, you're lucky here. So third one, Alex Z, congratulations. 
Congratulations. So now you know why you want to be in person meeting now. <laughs> okay. Um, so please make sure to participate in our education classes. A list of upcoming classes will be displayed on the screen. So we will have the commercial seminar, the SBA financing. It is free Tuesday, January 10th, 12 o'clock to 1 p.m. Uh, we will have a 45 hour DRE licensing renewal, continuing education. Uh, it is Friday, January 13th from 9.30 to 12.30 p.m. The cost is $85. Uh, the CRMLS virtual training, Agent Essentials. It is Wednesday, January 18th, 2023, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And it's free. Uh, the last one, um, probate from a, from a to Z for real estate professionals. It is the 20th of January, Friday, and it's 10 to 11 a.m. And it's free. Okay, now we're gonna start the 50-50 raffle. Get your tickets out. And it's $12. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> the number, everyone got your ticket out? 674-0666. You must be here because we only put the tickets in the <laughs> and so, so last number is 666. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go next one. Ask for uh, three number, 654. Ah, congratulations. $12, congratulations. Enough for lunch. <laughs> Thanks for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should anyone have a listing that would like to pitch, please uh, come up now. Uh, we will have uh, uh, open pitching for the one that uh, did not sign up, but have a um, uh, listing like to pitch, and then we'll show you a flyer as well. Okay, if not, then please join us next week um, as we will welcome Connie Mayers, CKM um, Preparedness Foundation, and her topic will be, do you want to make more money in 2023? Who wants to make more money next year, this year? Make sure you come next Thursday, okay? So um, come and find out new ways to make that happen. So um, that's it. And um, thank you everyone for joining our meetings on um, uh, meeting adjourned. See you next Thursday. Thank you.